You may have read about NASA's search for life on other planets. Through the science of astrobiology, NASA is searching for water on other worlds and identifying Earth-sized planets in distant parts of the universe. But the search for other life forms isn't always clear-cut. How exactly does one define life? Will we even recognize it if we find it? It's a question biologists studying life on Earth have struggled with over the years. What are the common factors all life forms share? Given the diversity of life on the planet, it's not a simple question. How do you know if something is alive? While biologists don't agree on one simple definition of what constitutes life, they do agree all living organisms have an organized cellular makeup, respond to stimuli, can reproduce, adapt and grow, regulate their interior to maintain homeostasis, metabolize and evolve. Let's examine each of these attributes in more detail. All living things are made up of foundational building blocks known as cells. As living organisms themselves, cells are highly organized and perform complex functions in plants, animals, bacteria, and fungi. While cells found in plants and animals come in many sizes and shapes, they all contain the same basic structure of nucleic acid, cytoplasm, organelles, and membranes, allowing them to perform simple to specialized functions within an organism. When living organisms detect changes to the environment, they are able to respond. For example, a dog will pant when it's hot, a plant will bend to follow the sun, and a human will put on a coat when it turns cold. Living organisms have the ability to procreate, whether through asexual mitosis and binary fission, or through sexual reproduction, almost all living organisms are able to replace themselves through reproduction. A colt grows into a horse, a seed grows into a plant, and a human baby grows into an adult. All living things have the ability to transform through growth. Even single-cell organisms and bacteria are able to grow larger in order to reproduce and divide. Living organisms have the ability to regulate their internal chemical and physical environments to stay in a constant balance known as homeostasis. For example, the human body maintains an internal temperature of around 98.6 degrees, no matter the external temperature. All living organisms need energy to grow, reproduce, and perform their cellular processes to survive. Some organisms can produce their own energy, like plants, through photosynthesis. Others, like fungi and animals, need to consume it. But no matter how they acquire their energy, living organisms all use a chemical metabolic process to break it into the specific compounds and nutrients needed to live. When needed, living things can also change and adapt to new circumstances in their environments. For example, a bird will fly away if a predator comes too close, a plant will shoot up if other plants block its sunlight, and humans will duck to avoid a low-hanging tree limb. Small genetic changes in a species over time that allow it to be more successful in its environment are known as evolution. One well-known example of evolution in action is the peppered moth. After Britain's industrialization and increased coal use, coated the country's birch trees in a layer of dark soot, the once white peppered moth turned to black in order to avoid detection from potential predators. The enormous diversity found in the living world is mind-boggling. Life on Earth can be found in all shapes and sizes, from microscopic bacteria to the towering sequoias. Life is found thriving in the air, on land, in lakes and the sea, surviving in the extreme heat of hot springs and hydrothermal vents, as well as the sub-zero temperatures of the frozen Arctic. It's no wonder when presented with the simple question, what is life, biologists have yet to find a simple answer. Thank you.